Okay, what you're looking at is me. <laughs> uh, uh, what you're seeing on the screen there is uh, Channel Z. Channel Z is basically, um, it's a little hard to describe. It takes videos from YouTube. And this is videos from the past, not current videos. It's not a real television set. What it is, it is a different way of viewing YouTube content. Um, what it does is it just takes videos from YouTube and it plays them end to end forever. And um, when there's nobody there, it's playing nothing. But when somebody comes in, it figures out what they would be watching had it been playing all this time. And if somebody else comes into the same video of the same channel um, when it's in TV mode um, then they will see the exact same content the other person is seeing and if somebody 10-20 minutes down the road uh, comes in and watches the channel they will also see the same content the people that have been watching for the last 20 minutes are seeing so it is great for a social environment and it doesn't matter where you are in the world whether you're in a, in a virtual environment or if you're on a web browser or you're on a cell phone whatever um, whoever is um, your friend maybe in another place and you may be con connected by a cell phone but you can be watching the same video content um, and it's about discovery um, the problem with YouTube is that um, it forces you to figure out what you're going to watch. And it tries to suggest things to you, which I don't like because it, it doesn't necessarily pick the things that I like anyhow. And it's got advertisements, which I really can't stand. So um, when you set up an embed on it, your own website, um, the people who would be advertising on YouTube don't advertise on your website because they pro might not agree with the um, context of your site. If your site's a porn site, for instance, um, they're not going to agree. If you have any porn on your page, they're probably not going to agree with that kind of content being on the page, so they will not advertise on your page page and that's the reason why YouTube will not put advertisements on embedded players. Um, uh, embeds are video players that sit on people's websites. Um, also people who publish YouTube videos will um, specify that they will not play their videos will not play on embed players. So I have to do a check. I have to run a little check against all the videos that I download to see if they will play in an embed player. Um, also, if the videos have been taken down, I have to do checks for that um, from time to time. And I run a little script that will go through every video on a page and do a check to see if it's been taken down. Um, in the future, I'll, I'll write it up in such a way as to either replace or just remove those videos altogether. Actually, it does remove the videos, but it doesn't replace them. Um, anyhow, whenever you're coming into my Channel Z site, um, the only way you're going to be able to control it from within a virtual, uh, alt, alt, virtual space, alt space VR, the only way you're going to be able to control it is through a remote control. And you have to bring up the web browser in your alt space type in the address that I've got listed out in this in the screen. It should show you whenever you come in and you're a new user, you will see a, a some text that will describe what you need to do. And that's to create a new um, remote control. And you're the only one that can see their video content. Nobody else in that room can see what you're watching. However, if both, if two of you guys are on the same channel and you didn't select in the schedule which videos to watch you just hit the little red dot that comes next to the channels in the TV guide 
um, or if you thumb through the channels and you just end up on a channel that the other guy is on, you will be seeing the same video content. Um, I have it set up also uh, um, a way in which one person can broadcast his his um, channel um, selections to the other people. So that's um, Channel Z. Um, it is not a YouTube jukebox that uh, currently exists in alt space. We are the reason why I didn't do a jukebox is because um, you have to populate it yourself and it takes forever for me to populate that video player whereas on my channel Z I can populate it with a thousand videos from a playlist on YouTube in a matter of minutes. It doesn't take me all that long to do. And so I prefer to use channel Z to than to using the YouTube jukebox on uh, their uh, service. Now, until they implement something like mine, I'm going to be using Channel Z. And um, I am working now to try to figure out how to create my own 3D content on Altspace. And in that, I might be able to produce a control that people can use without having to call up the web page. Um, but for now, it's not going, you're going to have to use that, um, that web browser. You just leave, you know. And, you don't have to use this site, but um, I'm just saying uh, if you want to use the stuff that's in my world, you're going to have to do what it says because there's no other way I can do this. And you can't control the YouTube content. I've got a, a little uh, CSS style specification that tells um, what can be um, what can be, uh, you can't touch it. You can't touch the YouTube. The YouTube will not respond to you. Um, it will only respond to the remote control. Anyhow, there you go.